My name is Nick Kamunyu. I'm the Chief Channels Officer at Safaricom. The channels organization in Safaricom is, we are responsible for all the customer touch points across the portfolio of Safaricom PLC. We, and that encompasses the contact center, digital channels, retail, and the trade. I would say I attribute my success to three things. One is hard work, grit, and lastly, persistence. Uh, those are the main principles which I attribute my success. My experience in Safaricom has been quite interesting. Um, first of all, it was a privilege to join Safaricom. I have met a wide range of people in Safaricom. The people themselves, I believe, are the engine that drives Safaricom and the Safaricom spirit. So they've been very welcoming, very encouraging. And I've also got to learn a lot about the telco world, but also even myself in terms of how I can then be part of this successful journey that is Safaricom. The best advice came from my parents and uh, it was around what you have, you use to create what you want. So for me, it's whatever I'm given and how to make it better. And that has been my philosophy uh, in my life so far. I generally like to unwind out with nature. So I tend to spend a lot of my free time out either in the parks or somewhere quiet. So I think for me, that's what brings peace to me. My favorite place, I think for the last five years has been going to the national parks. I like traveling in Kenya. I've got a bucket list to at least go to all the national parks in Kenya. I'm not yet there, but it's something I hope to do uh, soon. The one thing that people will be surprised to know about me is I'm actually the shortest in my family. I have three other brothers. My height is 6'3". So yeah, most people get surprised to realize that I actually have taller brothers. My perspective has changed uh, about the world today based on what has happened in the last two years. Uh, we used to say that the world is connected, but I think it came into reality when the pandemic started. And I would say that we are all connected in one way or another, and it came to fruition around that. But more importantly is going forward, we have to become very comfortable with ambiguity. And for you to then thrive in an era where ambiguity and disruption will become the normal, the new normal, is to then be agile and to be flexible and not to be too set in your ways and to open your mind to new ways of looking at things. If today was my last day on earth, I would spend that with family. Uh, I would have a nice meal and actually get time doing things that we all love as a family. So probably a movie, play, listen to some music and just chill. Am I a books, movie or movie person? I would say I do all three, but push to a corner, I would say I'm a movie person. I'm actually a movie buff. I use that. I do watch movies a lot to just unwind. So a nice movie would be what I would say. Favorite movie of all time, I would say, would be Shawshank Redemption. Which fictional character do I relate most? I would say Indiana Jones, because he's relatable, he's imperfect, he suffers pain. So he's not your typical fictional character who's all superpowers and that. But also for me, it's the sense of adventure and uh, the ability to pursue what one is and determination in getting to the goal. Stay here. If you insist, senor. The channel's organization will ensure customer obsession is at the center from a point of view of putting customer first. I think we need to drive more customer centricity and also ensure that the customer experiences the brand across all the channels and touch points we have and it's seamless and integrated. So that for me would be the role of channels in driving customer obsession. I believe Safaricom is fully purpose-led Safaricom has had a big impact in transforming lives today and will continue transforming lives. I believe that the vision that has been set by the CEO will continue having a big impact 
in transforming lives. And I do believe that's the purpose of Safaricom. My part in short is the secret for change is focusing all your energy, not on the old, but on building the new.